Hi everyone, welcome to Tinsley Trials. Today we're going to be doing a daytime makeup using drugstore products. We're going to start out with the Maybelline Prime Master Prime Blur and Smooth Primer. We're going to put this anywhere you have larger pores or maybe you want a smoother surface, which for me is basically everywhere. I really like this primer. It's a little bit hydrating, but really great for oily skin. Then we're going to take our Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. This is my favorite on the market right now. I do get the sponge wet and make sure you clean it before you use it the first time. Then I'm going to apply the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation to my face using my fingers. And some days I use my fingers to do this, other days I apply it completely with the sponge off the back of my hand. What you do is up to you. You do you, girl. And then take the Real Complexion sponge, you're going to do it in dabbing motions. Oh, I hurt myself. Um, I forgot about that. So then we're going to, in dabbing motions, we're just going to spread this around our face. And we don't want to use swiping motions because when you swipe with a sponge, you're moving the product around and you want to keep it exactly where you put it. That really helps our coverage. And um, I really focus around my eyes because I have some dark circles and I want to work those out. I'm going to take a little bit more on the back of my hand and because I'm really hard to color match because of the pink undertone to my skin, I'm going to really work down onto my neck and a little bit of my ear to really help keep from having that line from our foundation that's like obvious. Oh my gosh, what is she doing with her life? That, you know what I'm talking about. You know. Then we're going to take this NYX HD concealer in CW01. I do like to apply this first with my finger off of the wand because the wand's a little hard and so then I put that under my eye and I feel like I get a little bit covered, little bit better coverage if I go with my finger and then I take the wand and layer on top of it. Then I'm going to go down the bridge of my nose and highlight the area between my eyebrows. I have a large forehead so I don't need to highlight a whole lot. And the highlight I do under my lower lip is actually just because I get like freckles and like a little bit of acne there so I don't actually need to highlight that. Then we're going to contour. This is the CoverGirl Fix Stick in Medium Deep. I really like this Fix Stick, but I have had other shades not work so well on me, so I probably won't buy it again. So use it at your own risk. But super creamy, this particular color. And we're just going to contour our cheekbones, our nose a little bit, and our forehead just to get a little bit more of a bronze glow. And then we're going to take our Real Technique sponge and blend it out. You do want to blend out your highlight first because if you blend out your contour and your highlight, contour then your highlight, sometimes that contour color can affect the quality of your highlight. And when you're blending out your contour, you want to make sure that you're blending up from the contour. You don't want to blend down because then you're kind of messing with the line that you've created with your contour. Then we're going to set this with the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. Um, Mineral Veil is not available through the drugstore, but I actually have one on order from Target by e.l.f. It's the HD Translucent Powder. And we're going to use this to set our highlight. Um, concealers are known for creasing and rubbing off pretty easily or even getting oily. So you just want to always make sure you set it with your translucent powder. Then we're going to take this Wet n Wild bronzer in the color Ticket to Brazil. And this will set our contour. I love this, this bronzer. I used it on my wedding day. It's great. Then we're going to take this angled brush. It's not a super fluffy and dense angled brush. It's pretty light. And we don't want a super heavy coverage with this bronzer. I am fairly pale. So nobody wants to look orange. Next we go in and cover the eyes with contour. Then we're going to take this palette, The Nudes by Maybelline. It's a really beautiful palette. You get 12 shades, some are matte, some are shimmery, and it's a really great just everyday palette. We're going to take this cream shade and place that all over the eyelid as our base. And I think you can tell, but I'm pretty sure I got a tainted brush. This wasn't clean, so you can see I got a little brown there. See, I'm trying to fix it. <laughs> no shame in my game. So, 
I'm going to use that cream shade on both eyes as our base color. I really like to use a base color, especially when I don't use an eye primer. And um, I don't use an eye primer when I go to school because I'm probably going to rub my eye and ruin it. Anyways, I'm going to take this gold and I'm going to place that in the inner corner of the eye to the upper crease, almost to the brow bone. That's a really pretty shimmery light gold. And it's just really nice to have that reflective color in the corner of the eye. So again, inner corner, upper crease, the outer corner. I am using a dome brush from Revlon. This is an older brush, but they do have a new brush series that looks to be really wonderful. I think I'm gonna try it out soon for you guys and see if I like it. I'm gonna take this bronze, like medium bronze shade, and tap that off. This There is some fallout from this palette, I won't lie. There is some under eye fallout. So be wary of that. But then we're going to apply this medium bronze directly to the crease of the lid. So we're not going to work that too far down the lid. We're not going to work it too far up. We're just going to really place it in the crease. Again, tap the fallout. And then, whoa, Nelly. I can't work too much product right there. And I'm just going to try and blend that out a little bit. <laughs> But what I end up doing is taking my flawless face brush to get my fallout and then taking a clean brush. There's no product on that brush and just really trying to work that color around. Great thing about makeup is it's all temporary. Do what you need to do, girl. So then I take that gold shade that we used previously and I tap it off, try to work that above the crease and then I just add some more bronze to the other eye because whatever works, it's all good. I'm just going to blend out that piece. And this is a flat top cylinder brush. And these are really great. This is clean. This is really great for like blurring the lines in between shades. I was really having a struggle over there with that eye. And then anyway, with a little bit more gold, just really blend it out. I'm going to take this Sephora brush. This is a really short, dense brush. It's great for packing on color. I really, really love it. And we're going to take this dark brown. See all that color? And we're just going to apply it to the middle of the lid. We're going to work out to the outer corner. And it's just a really pretty, elegant, a little bit drama for the day. But I like a little drama. Well, I like a little eye drama. <laughs> I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna take our gold and we're gonna apply that to the inner corner into that brown just to really create a gradiated effect. A gradient effect, whatever. I don't know what I'm saying. Don't listen to me. Then we're gonna take this brow precise eyebrow pencil in Auburn. I am a natural redhead, but the color you see in this phone this video is not my natural color. But I still use Auburn for my brows. And my brows are a little bit of a struggle right now. I don't even want to talk to you through this tutorial, honestly. So, I'm between brow ladies. I moved recently, and it's just a struggle. I don't want to talk about it. Anywho, my brows end up not being even at all. Um, this brow pencil actually really is wonderful. It applies beautifully, but my brow tutorial is basically put color on brows. You guys have got it, right? We're going to take the spoolie that I drop. We're going to take this spoolie and we're going to just work it over the eyebrow and make sure they look a little bit more natural. Not even though, because God forbid anybody in this world have even eyebrows. Then we're going to take the Mary Kay Original Black Highlighter and I'm going to apply this to my wonder, my wonder line. That's not a word. My water line. And I really love this liner. I've been using it for a while and it just stays all day and it's truly black. The black is black. Then we're going to take this Maybelline Eye Studio Cream Eyeliner and our Lab Squared Angled Brush for eyeliner. I really like cream liner. Um, wings can kind of be hard to do with with them sometimes. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just bad at wing liner, which you will just be about. You're about to find that out. About to see that for yourself. So 
when you start a wing liner from my reference you just draw a little line out from each corner of the eye and of course you're uneven already so you go back over to fix the other one and this liner starts out as a baby wing but it ends up full-blown wing I'm not gonna lie to you of course I wouldn't lie to you about that so you just want to take whenever you get uneven or whatever you want to take the very tip of the brush you don't have to use the full like side of the brush the full line you know what I'm saying you don't have to use the full surface of your brush all the time. Use its angles and its points to really get the most out of it. And we end up calling these wings even enough. But I mean, hey, on the average day when I'm rushing to school anyways, they're not going to be perfect. Real talk. So when you create your point, you want to go back in just slightly away from the very tip of the point and then pull back in. And you really want to make sure you get all the way down to the base of your lashes with your eyeliner because otherwise you might have like a white line in between where your eyeliner finishes and where your lashes begin, even with mascara. And there, then there's just like this weird thing happening. It's like my biggest eyeliner pet peeve, honestly. So make sure you're getting all the way down there. Then we're going to take this Sila Hout and the Hamptons palette. It's a couple years old, but I love the blushes in it. And we're going to use this Monotalk Highway blush with this Eco Tools super fluffy angled brush. I love Eco Tools. If you're looking at drugstore brand brushes, I really like Real Techniques and I really like Eco Tools. And I'm going to try that Revlon brand because I've liked some of their stuff previously. Then we just apply our blush to the apples of the cheeks and we work it back all the way to our ear back of our cheekbone there this has a little bit of shimmer to it so I do not highlight this then we're going to take our Lash Blast CoverGirl mascara I really like this mascara I used it on my wedding day I did wear falsies on my wedding day but I mean go big or go home on your wedding day for real for real so Lash Blast volumizing mascara it's in black I love it it's got a plastic wand I really like plastic wands and you're just going to start from the base of the lash and you're just going to work up real slow this is sped up obviously so it looks like I'm doing this crazy fast but that's not the case and sometimes I get a little bit of fallout from this mascara but I think the results are working you do you I was really going for glamorous lashes. I'm always going for glamorous lashes. Who am I kidding? Then we're going to take this Revlon Colorstay Long Lasting Lip. And it's a liquid lipstick. This is shade. Oh my goodness. It is shade. Infinite Raspberry. Ugh. How can I forget that? I love this color. I wear it a lot. It's a great day-to-day -day color. But you do want to apply Burt's Bees before you put it on because it can be super drying. But it does come with a lip gloss and on the other side that is really hydrating. And if you put a little bit on your bottom lip and just rub them together, it's it's good. So as long as you apply your lips, your lip gloss, you're good to go. And this look is ready for in the old day. That's all she wrote, kids. I hope you like this video. I hope that you will join me and subscribe and see what all the things are that's going to happen in the next, um, hopefully a long time, honestly. I mean, I hope I'm doing this for a while. I really feel like there needs to be a plus size face out there for young girls to be like, wow, um, I can wear a bold lip or I can wear a dramatic eye or wing eyeliner and I couldn't find anybody. But one, there's uh, Georgina and um, uh, I will put a link to her YouTube channel below because I love her and she's plus size and beautiful and she also happens to do some modeling so if you want to meet Georgina and see all the beautiful stunning that is she
Um, she's based out of, I think, the UK. But anyway, she's gorgeous. And um, she's just phenomenal. I'll link you to her. But um, please subscribe to the channel and um, ask questions and get involved. And um, I love you guys already. I'm so excited to see what is going to happen with this. And um, yeah. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, or share it with your friends. Um, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm going to try and put out, um, I think I'm trying for, I think, eight videos a month. Freya. That cat, though. I think I'm going to try for eight videos a month, and it's going to be great. But, yes, Lauren. Okay. That's it, everybody. That's a wrap. Thanks for watching. Bye.